Hello, hello, welcome everyone to another World of Warships Legends um, thing, I guess. We're not playing a game this time around. A couple people asked about the Azure Lane Wave 5 stuff, and specifically the commanders, because there's a little bit of concern that there's maybe some pay to win kind of stuff happening here. And, like, guys, I'll, right off the bat, I'll be honest, like, it's not. It's not as bad as you're thinking. <laughs> but, so, to start out with, here, here's the... And by what I mean by not as bad as um, you're thinking is, like, it's... It, you know, someone with, with these ships and commanders aren't gonna just, you know, plow through and always destroy and win every game, right? So, <laughs> but we'll get to that. Um, I do think there is, there is a commander that I'm slightly interested in, um, but I'm not going to fork over my doubloons just yet because there is a way to get at least one free Azure Lane crate. These these camos I'm interested in though. <laughs> um, and somehow I got this. I don't know. But anyway, anyway whatever. So this, to get the whole bundle here, 47,000 doubloons, I'm always like, when I see the, the big package, I'm always curious like, what is that? What does that cost? You can get the Milwaukee for a dollar, by the way. <laughs> I have that ship. I did a video on it. Go check it out. <laughs> but so, like, for 47,000 doubloons, you need to buy this 37 plus 10,000 package. 150 bucks, right? That's a lot. Like, that's a, like, that, that's too much. <laughs> so, I'm like, right away, I, like, me, like, if you got the cash, like, more power to you, like, if it was, if money wasn't, uh, an object, you know, like if I, you know, maybe if I had some ad revenue income from YouTube, but like I don't because I don't have 500 subscribers, <laughs> like I don't know, maybe, but like I, even that, I think there's just so many more things I'd spend my money on. But anyway, there is a coupon out there for 1,250 doubloons if you buy a doubloon bundle. So if you are interested in buying, you always check these coupons, the... Uh, the left thumbstick click gets you into to look at these, right? So you know you could buy the the twelve thousand, the twelve fifty, one thousand two hundred fifty doubloons for five bucks, and then get another twelve fifty. Like that's not bad, because then then you could buy a campaign. You know you could buy admiralty backing for a campaign. Like that's a decent deal, five bucks for a campaign. Like that's fine, whatever. Um, Azure Lane crate. You know we'll get into those a little bit, but. Um, and you know, basically, so you can get a free one of these, right? So, and I'll show you where, you know, later, but basically play the campaign. You get a free one if you get far enough in the campaign, right? Um, but I'll, I'll show you where it's at and what else you can, you know, all that other BS, right? But, um, so you could take the route of trying to get lucky and, and pay the 17,000 doubloons for 20 of these crates and see if... <laughs> <laughs> see what you get i think the the um the the world of warships legends like crate the c container site was like not working the greatest uh right now so i couldn't go in and see what your percentage chances were but this is the big one right this uh this uh Rosoria, yeah this the ship i and I, the sov stands for something else too and i i always forget but um so twenty five thousand doubloons just for this ship i think is excessive um and i've seen it out there and you guys like so to be honest, my personal opinion, I get more enjoyment out of destroying someone in that ship, <laughs> knowing they probably spent some cash on it, right? Like, so like that's my that's my uh, my take on on purchasing ships, right? It's it's so rare that there's something that I just gotta have, because honestly. You know, and so I, I'm just going through these really, really quick just to show you, okay, here's the summary screen, you know, and then here's the loadout, right? So, I mean, they, they, these look cool. Like, I love how they look. Um, but, and so, like, that's, that, that'd probably be my thing is, like, you know, if I have a ship, so if you liked Zara, you know, maybe buy the Azure Lane Zara because it's, it's got this cool decorative stuff on it, right? Like, so I think like if you've got a, if you've got a favorite ship and this one of these happens to be it, then like that makes sense to me, right? But um, to to buy it just to have it, or or even to buy it, you know, like out here, pyro, you get pyromania, 
and superior HE pen, you know how I like to like double up on like, okay, if I'm going to be shooting HE shells, that's, that's where it's at. And I'm going to build into that. Right. So, um, but yeah, so Cheshire maybe, maybe is a little tempting, right. For me, you know, but you know, I like to play everything. So like, you know, it's, it's, it's always hard for me to decide. The skins are cool as hell. Like they look sweet. Right. But 5,000 doubloons, like I'll, I'll maybe take my chance if I get one in the crate, my free crate, right. <laughs> I'll use it if I get it. Um, but I do think that there's there's something to be a little bit more discussed with the commanders, right? That that's kind of where people seem to be a little bit more interested. Um, and there's a lot of uh, other folks out there on YouTube, you know, just get, buying these commanders up and doing these awesome builds with them, right? So Colorado is probably um, the the one that's the most hyped right now, and I'm not that excited about it, mostly because it doesn't suit my play style. I think you know you this is. A reload American battleship reload build is what you would do with this, right? So some of these, some of these are your kind of standard options that you get, right? And then, um, but the base trait has those reload and and what was it dispersion perks? And then this is the big one right here, um, which is main battery reload after your first shot of the battle and every following third shot. So to me, that's like, well, if you're not putting yourself in a position always be shooting your guns the moment they're reloaded you're not getting the full potential out of this and the other thing too you got to rank this this commander up all the way to get to that 25 percent spot you know the you know it starts out at, min at minus 13 percent um and then and so for the the legendary perk at the bottom you need all of those those universal commendations right like because you're not going to get multiple colorados you're not going to get azure lane colorado dropping from commander crates so you're not so you you're you're going to be either doing a lot of grinding or <laughs> forking over some more cash for those commander items um, and so it's just going to cost you even more right to get the full potential out of it but if that's your play style i think that's an awesome build and i think that's worth it like if you if you find yourself getting up close or to like mid range in american battleships this this is a good starting point right <laughs> Like right, like that's awesome. I also think it, that this would be a different story if this um, courageous shelling, this perk that we're looking at right now, if this was the base trait, there'd be something to be said about that because then you could put that, you could use that on an inspiration for any of your other commander builds for any any, any commander, any country, right? Like so, I think there'd be some to say of that. So the Cheshire, this one, I'm actually a little bit more interested in the base trait. I like that. I like defensive. <laughs> I like defensive traits uh, for cruisers because they're the, they're the easy ones to get smacked and and deleted off the map you know, <laughs> in the blink of an eye, right? Um, and then this bounce right back. This is kind of cool. I can get behind this too, right? But do I think it's? I just don't know. You know, I mean, plus the like. She's definitely the best dressed. Like that's definitely the sexiest one, I guess. You know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> but like, so I do like these defensive perks, um, especially in those those British cruisers, right? So this is a British commander. Um, you can get just swiped out. You know, like I mean, who hasn't played Minotaur and like had full health and the, and then just did, you know sank, right? <laughs> We've all done it. I mean, you know. Never, it's never happened to me because I'm good, <laughs> right? But then, yeah, you get, you know, these are all these other perks are your kind of your standards, right? So, I like, you know, I like the I like the base trait because I could put that on any other cruiser commander as an inspiration. I could get I could get behind that a little bit, you know. Um, but like, I don't know. It's, so if I had to buy one, it 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 wouldn't be Colorado. It wouldn't be Cheshire. We'll go look at the next one, right? <laughs> Let's see. Because I have an opinion. So, like, my plan here... So, uh... Yeah. So, Rosoya. So, her base trait... Fine. Whatever. Like, that, that's not worth it to me, right? So, like, that, that's kind of what I do. You know, you I look at the base trait, and I think does this fit my play style and am I going to want to put that base trait on other commander builds, you know, in the inspiration spots. Right. So, 
Um, but yeah, so we'll go through like the, the stance with death, death one, you know, like that's fine. Um, and then, you know, it's always better to have more damage control parties cause you're in a Soviet battleship. Right. But here's the, here's the big one for her, my opinion, right? Deal more damage with Citadel strikes. You can get that up to plus 10%. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to explain why there's, there's something better out there. <laughs> that and then these minimum like these ricochet angles like those are awesome too right um so uh, th like that's all that's always you're, you're gonna you're gonna be able to do more damage even if the enemy's angled appropriately right like you're gonna have better luck with those salvos right so um i think this this person is meant to be paired with the equivalent battleship that costs twenty five thousand doubloons you know so like at that point you're spending if you want that battleship plus this commander you're spending 30 30 thousand doubloons anyway you might as well buy the package right um zara i mean who isn't a sucker for a redhead right good outfit right whatever okay yeah base rate i do like the base rate cruiser's main gun sap shell damage so that is nice that is specific to the italian cruisers makes total sense right now, you're not going to be able to use that for any other commander build, so that's kind of a wasted inspiration. You know, you can't... There, it would make no sense to, to use her as an inspiration for anybody else. So I'm kind of like, meh. You know, if I was crazy about the Italian cruisers and loved the SAP shells, which I can get behind them. I, I like them, but I don't. I just don't play them enough. I don't, like... I, I play through them. I'm, I'm working my way through the tops of those tech trees, right? Um, but I'm not, like... I'm not crazy excited about the SAP shells. They kick my butt sometimes, but <laughs> when other people use them. Um, but yeah, so damage from... This This is the other unique perk. Damage from cruiser main battery guns while firing them within five seconds after reload. So I'm not usually too much of a... I don't usually get too excited about perks that um, like require a unique situation, right? Like where like, oh, that's only... Because that's only going to happen sometimes. But that one's not bad because... If you've got something to shoot at as a cruiser, you're probably going to shoot at it again right away. <laughs> anyway, you know, so you'll get used out of that. Like, so I can get behind that one. And these other ones are kind of like normal, typical cruiser commander perks, right? So Zara, cool. I'm not putting 5,000 doubloons into her, though. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my personal opinion. But, yeah, if you if you're a cruiser guy specifically Italian cruisers, and you love those SAP shells, that's not a bad idea. And you could use, you know, even if you didn't use Zara, you could use, because there is another there is another commander that has perks within their, their little tree here that are SAP shell specific. I, I can't think of who it is, but so you could use, you could get Zara, use her um, base perk as the base trait as an inspiration for that build. That would make sense to me. But anyway, so Bismarck. So this is the one that I'm considering. And I'll talk a little bit more about why I'm considering her over Colorado if I was going to fork over my 5,000 doubloons. I do have enough right now. So it's in it's in my mind. <laughs> but this base trait, because the base trait has a secondary perks to it, I could put that on other commanders from other countries where I have secondary battery builds. So that interests me. This first row, I would probably go with the good day's work because then it doesn't have a negative perk. But then, of course, Porcupine. The other thing, too, is all the rest of these, aside from the legendary perk, have secondary battery choices. So sometimes you get, you know, you, you typically get Porcupine and then properly meticulous on, on the, the second to last row. But now here you get, well, I can't say that word, but incoming damage from projectiles while secondary battery is aiming or shooting. Hmm. If I'm doing a secondary build, that's going to be happening a lot. That's less damage I'm taking, right? Like, so it, so now I have base trait, porcupine, this perk, plus properly meticulous. So now, to me, they're, these secondary battery traits are, are, like, they're stacking up to a point where I'm interested in it. So here's properly meticulous, right? So secondary battery reload time and the enhanced secondary targeting duration, right? So if I... If that if that that's the consumable um, for your secondary batteries, right? Um, so if I'm doing a secondary battery build and that's a, an option for my loadout, I'm picking that one, right? So I would pick properly meticulous here, right? So look at three perks plus the base trait 
Plus, whatever your two inspirations are could also be secondary battery. But so I would basically my thought would be I would take. So I'm gonna go look. So this is so here's how I have my secondary battery build for my German battleships, right? Um, so here's Bismarck. Um, it's not Bodger the Blacksmith, it's Otto Celiacs, right? So this uh, this handsome hunk here is just a Commander Geist, right? But his base trait is AP shell damage. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to gripe about that. That's still good. But if I'm doing a secondary battery build, I like going all out with it. So now I could have, you know, that base trait be that, you know, that secondary battery build, you know, from that Bismarck Commander. Franz von Hipper is a must, right? <laughs> For inspirations. <clears throat> And then Hans Geisler. So then, yeah, yeah, like, so, and so for, like, my other countries, I'm using Franz von Hipper and probably the same guy. I could use that Bismarck, um, you know, sexy Bismarck lady, right? <laughs> you do get um, this advanced schemes. This is secondary battery, um, you know, related, right, for that build. Um, and so, like, I'm not going to complain about that. So, in my opinion, you know, if you don't want to fork over the money, like, this, this dude's, he's good, too. Like, <laughs> you know, like that other commander is not that much better. It's just, just small amounts in my opinion. Right. But, um, you know, it, I mean, and who doesn't, but I, I love myself a good brawler build, secondary battery gun build from, you know, some of these German battleships that it's fun to do. Um, so auto celiac, but yeah. So if you don't, if you don't want to fork over the cash for a fancy commander, like I think he's just as good. Like, just the percentage better that those paid commanders are, to me, is just not worth it. You, it's nothing you can't overcome by being a slight better player, right? <laughs> like, than that other person. So that's what I'm saying. Like, nothing... Like, I get I get super excited destroying people that are, you know, using the pay-to-win items, right? So, but, yeah. But here... This one, this one would be my personal pick. But partly because I have... I already have Azure Lane, New Jersey from who God knows what wave it was when I got that, but from however long ago. Um, and that that commander suits my playstyle for my American battleships, right? But yes, unwavering strength. I am interested in this as a base trait because then I could use her as an inspiration for I gotta do some scrolling. <laughs> Um, so here in my other country, so this is my Massachusetts, which I have a secondary battery build, right? So this is Willis Lee, um, but we're using Watson and Amelia, right, for the Geiss. And of course, for inspirations, the go-to is Franz von Hipper, and then uh, the other guy is here, Hans Geisler. So I would probably get rid of Hans Geisler as an inspiration and add, you know, Agile and Bismarck there and get, get, get those little extra tweaks, right? And then, you know, same with you know, I've got for Italian battleships like my Giuseppe Verde and Lepanto. I have got secondary builds for those, right? So, um, uh, Flounder, Flounder, Flander, whatever for French. You know, like so, like they're they're there. Um, but but yeah. So here is my Georgia build for Azure Lane, New Jersey, right? So I don't remember when I got her, but this was one where I was like, okay, I'm I'm gonna buy the commander <laughs> because. I like playing some of these American battleships. I like shooting big bullets at long range, right? And so, like, this, to me, suited my play style and suited ships that I like to play as well. So you need, it needs to be both in order for, to even tempt me, right? Uh, but yeah, so main battery range and shell grouping. So, like, I'm just picking, I'm picking AP damage. I'm picking anything that helps my accuracy, Right? And then her base trait is more damage from shells fired, you know, 10 kilometers out or more. And then I'm not a huge fan of the shell switch ones. And then here's this one. So this is, this is main battery, better main, better dispersion and, and more damage with Citadel strikes up to 15% if I can ever get enough of the commander materials to max her out. Right. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. So you, you're not going to get those. You have to use your universal ones. Right. Um, to get those up and it's, it's going to cost me 15 universal commendations or whatever they are for, to, to get her up to, to level four on the legendary. Right. Um, but yeah, so shell grouping, 
um, and uh, what was it, range or AP AP multiplier? I think I picked for inspirations, right? So, yeah. So this is that that to me this this commander has those sort of similar perks too. Um, uh, uh, what is it, Rosoya, right? But you know, it's it's not a base trait. Now, if this was if this was Rosoya, if this was her base trait, this battle cry. I'd, I'd probably be on that because then I would want to use her as an inspiration for my American battleship builds, <laughs> right? Because then it'd be like multiplying this. So that's probably why they didn't do that. But yeah, because then I could do what? Deal more damage with Citadel Strikes. This one goes up to 10% plus these better ricochet angles. <laughs> like that to me, that would be cheating. If I could, but like, like that, that would be very, very tempting if this was the base trade. Uh, but yeah, it's just the fire. So, but yeah, I don't, I just don't play the Russian battleships, the, the, um, the, yeah, the Soviet battleships enough to, to be interested in her. Right. So, um, I mean, Colorado, like she does have some, some pretty awesome side boob action going there. That's kind of tempting. And we're at Bismarck, like just that, that like dominatrix feel, and, you know, so whatever you're into, right? <laughs> Helps out. But yes, this unwavering strength, that that as her base perk is is part of why, because it's the base trait, um, is kind of what interests me. So here's where, here's the campaign, and I'm interested in the campaign too, Jaeger, because I like destroyers, and this, um, you know, the Jaeger bomb here that you get at the end of the campaign, uh, <laughs> one, I can call it the Jaeger bomb, um, but and then two, like it's just a it's a ton of torpedoes that you can dump, right? So, um, yeah, yeah. So we'll do what reward overview. Um, so here's what you can get. Uh, yeah, some of the, I mean some of this stuff is good, but you can see the Azure Lane crate in there, and that's not you don't need to buy the Admiralty back in to get that. And I'll, I'll show you where it is on along the campaign trail, right? But oh, the other thing too, these um, what is it? These uh research points you get a bunch of research points from the campaign um going those so those you can spend in your um bureau um it's, don't forget to spend those because i think you can like max like i think you can only hold on to so many or something but um yeah these things research points yeah so don't forget those will advance you know you go to in your bureau project where it says breakthrough and you can instead of spending doubloons you can you can use those to advance your your bureau right so those are always valuable too so go check those out if you you might you might have a bunch and you just keep forgetting to spend them like that's because that's what i do i forget to spend those <laughs> uh, but yeah so like i've been working my way through the campaign obviously just like anybody else right uh, but if you scroll over to here it is 85 you get so you don't even have to have the admiralty backing so this this makes this crate free right so my plan is to get to here so i'm, I'm not going to buy my commander that i want <laughs> i'm going to get to here see what drops because there is a decent chance of commanders dropping right um and so i'll see what i get out of that and then i'll i'll like kind of then i'll think about getting the Bismarck commander, right? If, if she doesn't drop for me, if she drops for me, I'm probably done. <laughs> I'll probably buy Admiralty backing and get the Jaeger bomb ship, right? But as you can see, so here over in the right, it says, um, pop open for a chance to obtain an Azure Lane wave five commander ship or skin. Um, so, and you can go on world of warships legends site. It's like world of warships slash containers or whatever just google it world of warships legends containers and it, it shows you you can go in there i tried doing it today and it was like glitching out for me so but it, it gives you the percentage um chances of like commanders and ships and stuff dropping okay so later today i'm putting out a video with the georgia um keep an eye out for that because i am using my azure lane build my azure lane new jersey build not any of the new guys i'm using an old one and you know if you don't have the old one either do an, do a range and accuracy build like I have done, right? Okay. Um, and then I will put a link to the uh, in the description for um, my Devastating Strike video because we do some awesome kick-ass Devastating Strikes in the Georgia. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, go check it out. And then keep an eye out for, uh, for today's video. See you tomorrow, guys.